Good day viewers and thank you most sincerely for tuning in to Pollum Update TV, the world's first TV network with a free petrochemicals news show. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Elena Sanchez. It is Tuesday, October 3rd. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices fell on Monday owing to a rise in the value of the US dollar. The drop in prices was also driven by reports that operations would be restarted this week on the Kirkuk, Cyan oil pipeline, also known as the Iraq, Turkey oil pipeline. Brent crude prices fell by $4.60 settling at $90.71 per barrel, while WTI futures decreased by $1.97 settling at $88.82 per barrel. On Monday, OpenSpec NAFTA prices gained by $1 per metric ton at $703 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Styrene monomer prices declined on account of a sluggish purchase pulse and bearish benzene feedstock values coupled with weaker upstream crude oil rates in Asia on Monday. On Monday, FOB Korea SM prices were assessed at the $1,080 to $1,090 per metric ton levels, a drop of $10 per metric ton from Friday. CFR China SM prices on Monday were assessed at the $1,065 to $1,075 per metric ton levels, a fall of $10 per metric ton from Friday's assessed levels. Ethylene and propylene prices remained unchanged in Asia on Monday. Ethylene and propylene prices declined in Europe on Monday. Ethylene and propylene prices quoted flat in the United States on Monday. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our free news channel and like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It motivates us to continue to bring you our free news service on a daily basis. In plant news, Lotta Chemical Titan is likely to bring onstream its linear low density polyethylene and high density polyethylene unit by early October 2023. The unit was shut for maintenance on September 1, 2023. Located in Merak, Indonesia, the LLDP and HDP unit has production capacity of 200,000 metric ton per year. Our special newsreel today is sponsored by Nayara Energy, an Indo-Russian oil refining and marketing company that owns and operates Vadina refinery located at Vadina, Gujarat, India with a capacity of 20 mmTPA. It owns India's second largest single site, state-of-the-art refinery, and one of the most modern and complex refineries in the country having businesses across the hydrocarbon value chain, from refining to retail, and is geared up to drive the vision of delivering crude to chemicals. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me, Elena Sanchez from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.